Last year, the Shakopee and Mwakitan Sioux community launched something called Understand Native Minnesota. It's a campaign to try to provide greater understanding of Native American history, culture, and modern tribal governments into Minnesota's education system. And joining us now on Skype to tell us more, Rebecca Crook Stratton, who leads the campaign for the tribe. Rebecca, thanks for being with us. Of course, thanks for having me. I think a lot of the, I, I will say certainly the education that kids are getting today about Native history is way more than probably our generation was getting. But there still are areas that you feel uh, are lacking, right? Yeah, definitely. I think you'd be surprised um, how education about American Indians, Native Americans hasn't really changed much. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a national survey called Reclaiming Native Truth uh, that looked at what was included in curriculum across the country. And a lot of the curriculum teaching stops in the early 1900s around Andrew Jackson and the Trail of Tears, and then really doesn't talk about Native Americans. So it leaves this uh, idea that Native Americans don't exist anymore. Yeah, the modern yeah. idea for sure. Mm -hmm. Like there's no discussion of how, how this works. And right? people, yeah, people have no idea. Exactly, and here in Minnesota, we have 11 tribal nations, all sovereign tribal nations who work on a government-to-government -government relationship with the state, the federal government, and their, their local governments. Uh, but tribal leaders have to spend a lot of time educating the elected folks around them about tribal sovereignty because we just don't learn about that in our K-12 through education. And unless you seek it out, you don't get much of that in post-secondary education mm -hmm. either. And Rebecca, part of the reason that you and I connected was because I know this is a push at the Department of Education too. Right now, the Department of Education is changing and revising. It's a normal revision of their social studies standards. But this is something that you want to have a voice there. Uh, this is part of the, your campaign. What other things are you looking to do to really sort of change that narrative? Yeah, we really just want to provide resources and work with folks in the K through 12 education system um, to ensure they have curriculum and resources that are aligned with standards. But as we move through this and we talk to folks, uh, we really find that there needs to be more training uh, on Native American curriculum because we, we don't know what we don't know. And if you don't learn about it in your K through 12 education, and then you don't get it in post-secondary, uh, there's this hesitancy to teach about something you yourself don't really understand. Um, so providing training opportunities, I think is going to be a, a big component of this campaign. Are you hopeful or optimistic going forward that we will, looking out one or two years from now, have a more robust education at the K through 12 level? You know, I am definitely optimistic about um, the response to this campaign. Teachers, administrators, um, school boards, uh, superintendents, all of those folks have um, really welcomed uh, what we're trying to do and have offered to partner with us wherever they can. Um, I do think it's gonna be more than a, a two or three year uh, process, mm -hmm. I think. I hope that the next generation of Minnesotan students uh, will have a better understanding of tribal communities. Right. And be sure to follow your social media campaign too. A lot of really interesting information there. Rebecca Cooks, Crook Stratton, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Have a great day. You too.